there are two external openings this one is located at 7 o'clock position and this one is located at 10 o'clock position right here you can see that there is scarring also which suggests that incision and drainage was done here This 20 years old male came to us with a history of anorectal abscess two years back, right? And for that anorectal abscess, incision and drainage was done. After two to three weeks of surgery, from the site of incision, patients started complaining of seropurulent discharge. Apart from seropurulent discharge, there was pain also. And I asked the patient whether there is passage of feces and flatus from that external opening. This external opening is there in perianal region. And patient says that, sir, there is no passage of feces and flatus. Now, if you see this current scenario, what you are going to understand? Three important points. First, patient was having anorectal abscess. Incision and drainage was done. And from the site of incision, there is seropurulent discharge. It means this is a clear-cut case of fistula in ANO. Why I asked the history of passage of feces and flatus? Because I wanted to see whether the internal opening is in the anal canal or in the rectum. If patient gives this history, passage of feces and flatus from external opening, in such cases, the internal opening is in the rectum. Why we are discussing this case? Because this case was asked in a latest exam in the form of image-based question. Now see the examination of fistula in ANO. First on inspection what you can see. Here you can see that there is 7 o'clock position and this one is located at 10 o'clock position. Right? Here you can see that there is scarring also which suggests that incision and drainage was done here. So there are two external openings, one at 10 o'clock position and one at 7 o'clock position. Second important thing, what is the location? How much is the distance of external opening from anal verge? So if you see the external opening which is located at 10 o'clock position, it is approximately 2 to 3 centimeter from anal verge and the external opening which is located at 7 o'clock position, this is roughly 5 to 6 centimeter from anal verge. One external opening is anterior and one is posterior. Anterior posterior is related to which line? See, we have to draw an imaginary transverse line which should pass from the midpoint of anus. And if we see the Goodsall's rule, according to Goodsall's rule, anteriorly located external openings are connected to internal openings with short straight track. Posteriorly located external openings are connected to internal openings by long curved track. But here, there are two external openings. One is anterior and one is posterior. So this is an exception. And here the posterior rule will be applied. So in this case, the external openings are two. One is anterior, one is posterior. So most probably the internal opening will be posteriorly in the midline and what's the exact location that is six o'clock position right so this is the inspection finding on palpation you have to palpate the fibrous track clear so you have to palpate the track and you will notice that there is fibrous track the most important aspect is digital rectal examination because i want to localize the internal opening at the site of internal opening there is induration so, in this case, I have to feel the internal opening, the induration. Second thing, I have to feel the anorectal sling. Why? If internal opening is above anorectal sling, the fistula is high lying. And if it's below anorectal sling, it's low lying. Clear? So, see, we are going to perform digital rectal examination. We have to explain the procedure to the patient. We ask the patient that open your mouth, take deep breaths. So we have to lubricate the finger and we have to place the pulp of index finger and it should lie flat on the anus. So slowly we are going to inside performing some kind of massage. What we are going to notice the tone of sphincter 
and after noticing the tone we have to look whether there is any kind of pain or tenderness or not because we have to look at the expressions of the patient and then I can feel this internal opening which is located at 6 o'clock position and this is the anorectal sling the internal opening is located below anorectal sling so this is low-lying fistula I have to rotate my finger so that I can palpate anteriorly clear and whenever we are going to take out the finger we have to notice that what is there at the finger so here you can see the finger is soiled with the fecal matter sometimes you might find blood sometimes you might find evidence of malina during digital rectal examination we have to document the findings that what was inside the lumen whether some kind of abnormality was detected in the wall and whether there was some kind of abnormality outside the wall so in this case the internal opening was at six o'clock position and it was located below the anorectal sling so what are the key points in patients of fistula in ano which we are going to determine on the basis of history examination and investigations so first what is the location of external opening what is the location of internal opening what is the course of track whether there are secondary extensions or not and we have to ask the patient whether patient is suffering from some disease which can complicate the fistula like tuberculosis Crohn's disease and HIV positive status so these are the important aspect of fistula in ANO and I discussed this case because this case was asked in a latest exam in the form of image based question